Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the mid-season of our second uh, year in the Skybet Championship. So if you've been following the series last year in the game, so in the season 2031-2032, we did our, f- our first season in the Skybet Championship. We just avoided relegation, a bit of an airline miss there. Uh, so we, we had, luckily we've been having a second go at it. So now season 32... Oh, Siri thinks I'm talking to it. Um, sorry, Siri interrupting there. So in season 32, 33, um, we are still kind of low down in the table, but we've never been in the position to be relegated. So I think the lowest we'd had we've had a whole season is 19th. So a lot better than last year. There's a few things to to kind of um tell you about. So when I let me see if I can get my notes up. Let me just a second. So uh, I've made a couple of changes right at the start of the season that I didn't show in the previous episode. So um after I finished the episode previous episode I went ahead and make made a couple of changes let me see if I can spot them here um, one of them was this um, player here Brad he- Brad Heather he was a halfback let's take a look at him he was a halfback I had Neil Mott who uh, I actually bought, got them both at the same time so Brad and Neil in the halfback position I got them both at the same time Initially, Brad came on a one-month loan, and then that month loan expired. So you can probably spot him here. So he came on, on loan for one month, and then that expired. And then straight after his loan expired, I then uh, noticed that he um, was being sold for free, and I thought, you know what, I'll get him. So he played for us a half season. Uh, he didn't do too well, but he, you know, he was all right to, to like Neil and Brad were very, very much the same level. Uh, I think Brad was marginally better at certain things. So I kind of played in with a system where Alan Jardine was our main. Um, Brad would come in and do like um, kind of in between games in a week, like if there was like a two week sorry, two games in a week, Brad would take the second game, etc., just to kind of give Alan some rest, while Neil sat at the end of 23s for a while, just developing. Um, so that was one of the changes that I did right at the beginning. Um, I don't think there were many others. Oh, maybe except this. Yeah, the striker. So I started the season with Chris Spillane and Miles our usual uh, two strikers, but then halfway through, nearly at the end of the transfer season in the winter, oh wait, the summer, uh, I got Chris Wilson, uh, who's still on loan, and he's basically our main striker now. Uh, He's not... He's not as good as Miles at certain things, but Miles is currently unhappy because he thinks he's too good to be in our club, blah, 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 blah. He wants to leave. You know, he's not playing too well. So Chris has been playing for us. And the good news is Mark Dodds is in, you know, top performance at the moment this season. So maybe not as well as he did in Skybet League One. But obviously, this league is harder. So, but yeah, he's, he's back to he's back to good, good performance, Dodds. So between Chris and Mark Dodds, uh, we're able to score enough goals between them to keep us away from the relegation zone, which is great. So those were the two changes we did right at the beginning of the season. Brad Heather came in for half a season. Uh, we then actually we sold him for a profit. It was a small profit, but we did sell him for a profit. So we had him for half a season, got him free, and then sold him for 2.9k. There we go. Small profit, but it all counts. It's not a Tesco's promotion, but if you know, you know. And then also Chris. Um, Chris came in um, on loan. 
uh, and Craig is out on loan at the moment. I debated bringing Craig back from loan if I ever sold Miles, because Miles wants, wants to leave. And I thought, you know, I'll just bring Craig back from loan. But it turns out nobody wanted to buy Miles, so Miles is still around. We didn't sell him in the end. Uh, what are the changes? Now, so we played that the, the first half of the season. Uh, as far as facilities, there were a couple of improvements. So we now upgraded our youth facility and we've also upgraded our training facility. So the youth facility that impacts our junior youth uh, uh, is now adequate. That means that it will get slightly better youth coming through. So with slightly better current ability. Uh, while the training facilities will impact both our current youth and our senior team, uh, we now have good training facilities, which is fab. So that will improve their progress, closing the gap between their current ability and their potential ability, I think. So that happened in between the transfer windows. Uh, like I said, the season's gone well. Considering the, you know that we are still favourites to be re relegated and we stayed completely away from the relegation zone, things actually improved quite a bit since since the transfer window as well. We, we had uh, quite a good month of February. As far as cups, uh, the FA Cup we got knocked out right the first the first round, so uh, we did in the Carabao Cup as well. I think I showed that right in the first episode anyway. Now. Because of personal things, I, I wasn't able to record an episode while, like, straight after the, the January January review. So I've played a month and a half since the January review, because that that's the only way that I can record basically two episodes to release this week. So, so we're gonna I'm gonna play an, um, um, a couple matches today, or maybe just one match today, and then in the next episode I'll play the final. Uh, match of the season, which will be the Newcastle match. So that's the schedule. I'm, I'm kind of this month has been really busy for me uh, with work and stuff. Um, so I'm really recording like just like just enough to release for this week. So yeah, bear in mind, I might have to drop drop down to just one episode a week. So if you're uh, like a patron. Or you're thinking about supporting on Patreon, just bear that in mind that this month. Uh, sporadically it might just be one episode a week but I'm trying to keep two episodes a week now the January review itself so after we've played half of the season we went back and made a few changes one of them was forced. actually two of them were forced so let's start with those the shadow striker Jack it um, Bitkinson his loan was only for six months so when his loan ended in January, I needed to find a replacement. It turns out that there weren't many replacements about, actually. Let's take a look at him and his replacement. So, Jack Hitchkins, Itkinson, however you pronounce that. He came in, he did okay. He was a bit of an old player anyway. He, he was fine. Uh, not as good as Finley. He was fine. His replacement is um, a Croatian guy, a young young Croatian, who's just come in, he's played eight games so far and would scored one goal, which is basically the same level. So he's basically like for like with that, with that one. Sorry. Um, so that was a forced changed, change. Another forced change was um, in our center of defense. Harry Hagen was also on a six month, lo six month loan. And he left at the end of January. And as a replacement, I got Scott she she uh, sh uh, Shagan, Sheehan. I don't know how to pronounce that either. So let's have a look at Harry. So Harry was one of our, he was meant to be one of our main defenders. I think he had a couple of injuries, so he didn't turn out to play as much as, as I wished. He only played 16 matches in the end. What I didn't realize is that he had been with us before. Ah. That's interesting. He had been with us before, which is um, cool. Anyway, his replacement is Scott. And Scott's been doing fine. Uh, he's kind of just hit the run running. He's quite a, a young player as well. Um, 
And yeah, he's playing alongside Brad Hills at the moment. So Brad Hills had a bit of a dodgy beginning of the season, but now he's like found his consistency. So he's um, doing really well. So that's like a position that was quite inconsistent. Like we had basically all of them rotating through it. All four players rotating through it. I wasn't able to find like a good pairing. But now Brad Hills and Scott, they work really well together. So hopefully that can carry on. So Scott is new. Um, those were the two forest changes. Uh, uh, Matic and Scott. Now I thought I was going to have to replace Morgan Clark and Miles sh uh, Shiny, so the box to box and the striker, because they want to leave, but no one wanted to buy them, so they didn't leave. And my backup plan for Morgan, similarly to the backup plan I had for Miles to, as well, is I was going to bring in someone who was out on loan. So Mike Davis, who was out on loan, uh, I was planning to recall him, so not actually get a replacement for Morgan. I'll just recall Mike from loan um, and save some money that way. The same thing with Miles. If Miles had been sold, I would have just called Craig Spillard for, from loan. And then one other change um, was like just a spontaneous change within our youth system. So Mark Dodds is our main uh, left winger. Uh, Craig Noon has been our kind of sharing that with Mark because Mark had a, quite a bad injury year last year. So Craig to kind of took that position. Um, Mark Dodds is doing fine this year. He's like a main goal scorer and everything. So back to his normal performance. But um, we have this young kid, Francis Okoro, from our youth, who's doing really well. Uh, he hasn't done so well in the main team, but in the he's, yeah, like he's developing really well. And in the youth, he was doing brilliantly. So I decided to kind of bring him up to the senior squad so he could get training with the senior squad and improve that way. So basically, we just did a swap. We put Craig back in the under-23s and we brought Francis Okoro from our under-18s. So we did the swap that way. Uh, Craig was still around, so he might still feature in future um, squads. And that's all of our changes. That meant that our wage bill went down. So we were actually minus seven, negative seven K in our wage budget. We managed to reduce it down to minus just one K. Uh, so we saved some money by doing the changes that we did. And that's it. Uh, those are all of the changes. The squad is looking pretty good in terms of cohesion. Um, I don't think there are many changes really. Uh, uh, Facilities-wise, nothing new. Uh, this, the the board was meant to expand the stadium, but they haven't confirmed that yet. So they might just do it over the summer. Who knows? But I'm just happy to jump into um, a match now. And let's see if I've done the squad. Yes, I have. I've done the squad. So what I'm actually going to do is do something I never do. I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just going to let the... Um, I've never actually done this before. Does this work? Basically, I want you to just enjoy the match, and I'm not going to do any commentary over it, and I'm not going to even have a picture. So, enjoy the match. Um, and how do I even... Oh, let me see. Let's test something. That works. You can hear me, but not see me. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to just um, go through... And I'm going to let you enjoy the match without any commentary. This is new. I've never done this before. The reason I need to do this is because I actually need to do something else in between. So I'm just going to disappear off and multitask for a minute while we enjoy the match. See you in a bit.
Okay, and I'm back now. Um, so it turns out we are drawing 1-1 one, one with one goal from Finley. You probably, obviously, you know this because you've been watching. Or oh, you might have skipped it, but yeah, anyway. So let's take a look at the players. It all looks fine. I think I'm, gonna, I'm happy to carry on in the second half. Now, one of the things that is a bit of an issue, but I think it should be fine, is we well if you remember from the previous episode we had two million in the bank. Now that two million was used to improve our training facilities, so we are already in the red again. So we've used up pretty much all of it for the training facilities. We used one point eight million. So we are back in the red, but it turns out that we actually get a lot of money in the summer from participating in the championship and sponsorships and season tickets and all of that so i'm not actually too worried about it now i'm gonna get simons out now simons is, is playing because um both miles and um uh, the other guy that i forgot who what his name was now chris but both miles and chris are shut uh proper strikers are well I think Chris is injured Miles is tired so we played with one of our youth um, players Peter so, but we're gonna sub him out now put dots in so yeah money's still a bit of an issue but at least we are using the money to improve facilities and I think that's a good investment Oh, nice passing there. Well done. That was a good play. Yeah, we, we still have um, a very, very small budget compared to all the other teams. We've got the cheapest wage budget. We spend the least on transfers. So it's not like we're spending our money on player wages. We're spending it mainly on the youth setup and also improving the facilities, which is great. It's not going to waste. So, final subs for this match. Uh, we could do that and put right in. And let's get Simon in. So Dodds is back it is in it back in his position. Whoop. Uh, why? Good. Now the annoying thing is we have two D right. We have Declan right and we have Duncan right. Uh, Duncan right, I believe, is the yeah the goalkeeper, and Declan right is the right inside forward that is um, in this match playing as a striker, just a as a makeshift. There he is. Ah, nice goal. That was good, actually. <laughs> now, Declan Wright is an Australian kid. And initially he wasn't playing too well, but now I think he's got used to the team. He's improving. He's still not great, but he's improving. Here with a, quite a good goal, but I think the opposition goalkeeper was sleeping a bit, napping. And now our goalkeeper was napping. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. So still got one goal difference. Hopefully you can maintain that until the end. Six minutes at a time. Whoa. Yeah, okay, so we, we finished up with a win, which is fab. And I'm going to leave it there for today. So as I said in the beginning of the episode, I'm going to carry on and play the rest of the season until the very last match, which we're going to play against Newcastle. And yeah, so we can finish anywhere between 3rd and 21st. We're not going to finish 3rd. We're not going to get anywhere near the playoffs. 
but we've just avoided relegation. It's been confirmed in this match that we've just avoided relegation. So we're not going to get relegated. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get promoted either. We're 12, 12 points away from promotion. So it's a bit more doable, actually. Um, so we're a lot closer to this end of the table than this end of the table. Quite a lot closer, actually. Uh, yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, so we're going to finish somewhere in the middle, I suspect. And I suspect that Dodds will carry on being a top goal scorer for this season. I'll catch you again in the next one to finish up this season and, you know, just see how it's all going. Uh, I've just noticed that for some reason, the, the there we go, the, the screen was cropped. I must have done that when I removed my camera, which I could have just done that, to be honest, but never mind. There we go. Living and learning. Catch you in the next one. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the episode and if you're enjoying the series. And you can also check out the Patreon. The link is in the description. And thank you to the unique patron that we have that will pop up in the credits just um, in a bit. Take care. Bye.